So, our theme for today is Mission and Thanksgiving. But before I talk more about being thankful, I thought I would remind us all what mission is. And for me, the Bible passage today sums up beautifully the story of mission. And part of the passage said, Because we broke God's laws, we owed a debt. A debt that listed all the rules we failed to follow, but God forgave us of that debt. He took it away and nailed it to the cross. He defeated the rulers and powers of the spiritual world. And with the cross, he won the victory over them and led them away as defeated and part as prisoners for the whole world to see. We broke God's laws. We owed a debt. God forgave us. With the cross, he won the victory. And now it is the responsibility of the church to help the whole world know the unending, forgiving, victorious love of God. And as we've discovered, we can do that in lots of creative ways because God created us to be creative. Now, during past the parcel, we heard about some of the creative ways in which our circuit is joining in with that mission. There is a lot going on and a lot more that wasn't included in the parcel stories. And it's important to be thankful about all of that. Now, what are the two important rules in musical statues? The two important rules in musical statues. <coughs> right, move when the music plays and yes, and freeze when the music stops. Now, what sorts of things were going through your mind when you were frozen? Dangerous question, I know. <laughs> What sorts of things were going through your mind when you were frozen? Mm -hmm. Was anyone thinking, I wonder what actions I'll have to do next? Or why did I choose to stand on one leg? Did you ever think, should I be holding my breath? Did anyone think, thank you God for the fun I'm having? Or thank you God that I can praise you through song and dance? Well, musical statues may be a silly party game, but it can teach us two important lessons. The first is this, we need to thank God in the busyness. And the second is, we need to thank God in the quiet. So what's the first one? We need to thank God in the? And the second one? Thank God in the quiet. It would be very easy to get stressed over the amount of work it takes to wash and dry the dishes after a community meal. But instead, let's be thankful that lots of dishes mean lots of people are crossing the doors of the church and experiencing the warmth, love and fellowship of God's people. It would be easy to be distracted by the noise and the semi-organised chaos at the toddler group, GB, squirrels, brownies, blaze juniors. But let's be thankful that we can provide an environment where children feel safe enough to run around and build fun memories whilst being in a church building. We heard in our Bible reading earlier that we should never stop giving thanks to God. And that means learning to thank God in the busyness. Let's not get so caught up in the activity of doing mission that we lose the impact of being missional. God is the one who gives us the life, the strength and the reason for being a church on mission. So let's remember to thank God for his mission as we walk with God on that mission. When the extra seats are put away, when the resources have been distributed and the final vegetable plot has been watered, let's not collapse onto our sofas exhausted and become distracted by the world. Let's continue to thank God. Think about the ways that you have helped people to connect with God during that day. Think about how you have connected with God during that day and thank God for all of it. For it is by walking with God on his mission that we continue to go stronger in our understanding of him and his mission. So keep being creative. Keep following God on this wonderful missional path. And through it all, 
never stop giving thanks to God. And we all said, Hallelujah. That was disappointing. We all said, Hallelujah.